Hey guys, Adam here, The Roof Strategist. Today we are gonna to talk about how to make sales while you're drinking coffee, maybe having a beer, sitting at the office or driving around in your truck. Now this has been a highly requested video, both on the community tab section of the YouTube channel, which by the way, if you haven't found yet, you can click that. You can post comments and questions to me, suggest videos. You can also shoot me an email at adam at roofstrategist.com. I love hearing what my channel wants to hear because what you guys suggest dictates these videos and they're here to help. So this video has been highly anticipated, has been requested over and over again, and it is all about cold calling, using your phone to make sales. And I want you to think of this before we dive into it, and I'm gonna teach you the script I used to land my first sale ever, which happened to be a commercial sale by cold calling with zero experience, no door knocking skills, nothing. I want you to think about this. When, it, when you're going door to door, whether you're walking, whether you're driving and you're, and you're hitting doors, you're walking up to the house, you're finding out if they're home or not, it might take you a couple hours to go through 60 doors. But if you're cold calling, you can rip through phone numbers and dial and dial and dial and talk to people really fast. So when, we, when we're trying to maximize our income by making the most sales we can, driving those commissions in, we need to think smart about how we use our time. So anytime it's nice out, I'm looking outside my window right now, it is beautiful, it's 65 degrees and sunny, it'd be a great day to be out door knocking. But maybe it's not the best time of the day. Maybe it's too late in the evening. Maybe it's a rain day, maybe you've got some time between between driving through appointments. If you can maximize those, the, those times by prospecting and working your phone, you can drive more sales. Now, far too many people overcomplicate this, okay? And I'm gonna make it simple, and I make it even simpler because my cold call scripts are now going to be part of the expansion pack for the Roofing Sales Accelerator Marketing Pack. And that's downloadable turnkey information that you can literally buy, click print, download, print out, and start using instantly. And here's how it works. Think of it like door knocking, but without being face to face. If you approach it this way, you can take all the skills you develop by going door to door and work them over the phone. Now remember the fundamentals. We have four different stages of the claims process that we wanna work. That's maybe the beginning of the storm where someone hasn't yet filed a claim, that's stage one. We don't know if there's damage, we need to get an inspection done, right? So that's stage one. Stage two is partial payment, meaning the roof, maybe the western slope has been paid for or a shingle repair. We know that someone's had the insurance out and likely they're not really happy with the results. They need someone like you, the professional storm restoration contractor, to show up and help get that claim approved. Stage three is a denial. The insurance company showed up, they said there was no damage. Now your homeowner either thinks that there really isn't damage or they're really mad because they know there is and the insurance company isn't covering it. And the fourth stage is that the roof's been paid for and that homeowner has the check in hand. Now, if we look at a storm and we say, in the, usually in the beginning, the first few weeks, we can assume that there's no claim filed. So we can lead with the offer for an inspection. Later on, we can know based on the area we're working, whether it's the fringe area, maybe there's some smaller hail, that we can work stages two and three, meaning partial payment or denial. And then maybe towards the end of the storm, we know that most people have filed a claim and the people we're gonna pick up just haven't decided to do the work yet. They're waiting for the right time of the year for kids to go back to school. So when we work our phone, we wanna use a script that speaks directly to them and to do it in the exact same way that I've trained you at the door. And for a refresher, you can take a look at one of my most recent videos, which is how to ace your pitch at the door, how to quickly put together a few sentence pitch to capture the conversation and start a dialogue. Now, before I give you the script that I used to land my first commercial sale, which happened to be my first sale ever in this industry, I want you to think of this. What's the purpose of the phone call? The first purpose is to start a conversation. We want that person to pick up. We want them to start talking. We don't want to try to like word vomit our, out our entire pitch, which is the biggest mistake that most new salespeople make. They're like, oh, I got to get it all out. Oh, hey, my name's Adam. I'm the Roof Strategist. I'm with this company. I've been around for 10 years. I live. Our office is just around the corner. What I'm here to do is to hop up on your roof. I'm going to take a quick inspection. Then I'm going to come down and then I'm going to walk you through everything. Is it now a good time? Can we do it now? And they just want to get it all out. And it's like, Whoa, man, I, my freaking blood pressure just rose from trying to do that. Imagine the homeowner on the other end. So all we wanna do is start a dialogue. We just want to have a conversation, right? And then from that conversation, we wanna do the core objective of setting an appointment. So I'm gonna teach you a couple tactics to one, start a conversation so it doesn't feel like you're soliciting by way of phone. And number two, how to set that appointment 
uh, precisely because there's a lot of different sales training out there and, and, and people to say, hey, I'm in your na neighborhood next Thursday at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m., which one works, right? So that's a technique. Everyone's heard that one. I have a little different way of doing it and uh, I'm going to teach it to you in a minute. So first and foremost, I'm going to give you my script that I used to land my first deal, which was commercial. You'll notice that when I'm approaching this commercial call, it's going to be a different angle than a residential homeowner. We're going to talk about both here. So when I called the commercial property, I'm thinking in my mind, and uh, this reference is, by the way, in the Roofing Sales Accelerator Marketing Pack, my needs versus desires piece. And that's a, a bonus piece right now uh, in the pack. And it talks about how to get in the mind of the prospective buyer, the homeowner, the commercial property owner. What do they really want? Now, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm a commercial property owner. If my roof needs to get replaced, I don't want to spend the money. That doesn't make me money. I probably don't really care that much about how it looks. I just need to make sure it functions. I want to get it done cost effectively. But most importantly, I don't want problems with it, right? So I see this roof. I'm leaving the gym. It's raining outside. I'm covered in sweat. I'm wearing my gym shorts, I'm wearing my gym shirt. I am about six weeks into this business and I see a for rent sign literally next door to the gym. And I'm like, great. So now I have an icebreaker that I can reference the name of the gym. It's next door to his building, right? So it's gonna soften up the approach. He knows that it's personal. It's not just, I robo-dialed him. I'm mentioning something specific about his building, about his neighborhood, that, that he knows this is real, okay? So the other thing I know just is that the roof has three tab shingles and it looked horrible. Like it needed to get done. And I'm like, man, I might have a great hook. By the way, this is edge of the storm. Like I, I was rolling the dice to find damage. So I grab my phone, I'm dialing, I'm driving my stick shift Toyota Tacoma at the time, and I call him up and I say, hey, I'm calling about, and then I listed the property address. I said, hey, I'm leaving Ford's gym right now. Um, I just finished up stopping by some customers around the block in, and I named the neighborhood, okay? If that, that area was the Atwood neighborhood. So I just left the Atwood neighborhood and leaving Ford's gym, I happened to work out there. And as I was driving by, um, I saw your building and wanted to call and ask you a few questions. Is this the owner or the manager? So I wanted to know out of the gate, okay? We'll break this down first is the icebreaker. I'm referencing a neighboring building, so he knows legit. I'm referencing a neighboring neighborhood. Then I ask specifically, is this the decision maker? Is it the owner or the manager? Just so happened that the owner picked up. I said, great. Hey, before we get into it, my name's Adam. I'm with, and I named the name of the company. So let's just use the roof strategist. I'm Adam with the roof strategist. And as I was driving by, I noticed that your roof looks pretty old and in disrepair and is likely going to be needing to get replaced soon. Now, I might be able to help you get it replaced under your insurance coverage if I can find some hail damage from that recent storm that came by back in, I think it was April. And um, are you open to me coming by and taking a look? And he says, yeah, you know what? That'd be great. I said, hey, you name the time. I'm happy to work around your schedule when works. He says, how about tomorrow morning? So tomorrow morning, came by, I went with someone who was helping train me to identify what the heck I was looking for for hail damage. We did the inspection and I ran the whole pitch and I said, listen, here's the deal. I did find what appears to be hail damage. Now it is marginal, but it is worth rolling the dice because that, by the way, the roof was 90 square. And I said, your roof is pretty large. Um, and the best case scenario is we file the claim. The entire thing gets approved. We do the whole roof. You owe the insurance deductible and we're warned to it. Our office is just around the corner. We're here for forever. Like you're taken care of. Worst case scenario, they deny it and you're in the same position now. You, do you want to roll the dice? He says, yeah, absolutely. Rolled the dice, got approved. Funny story, by the way, the insurance adjuster fell through the roof. There was a parapet wall. He stepped over the roof. Someone put tar over, not even new decking where an old pipe uh, Jack came out and the adjuster fell and literally fell through the roof. I leaned over, I caught him. He fell up to his crotch. <laughs> I pulled him out. I think it helped getting the roof approved because it was pretty marginal. And we got an emergency repair paid for because he almost fell through the roof. <laughs> Guy turned white. Holy smokes. So talk about getting brought into the business. So um, anyway, got the roof approved, did the job. It was my first job I ever sold. It was a commercial job and it was all from cold calling. 
So I want to break this down to show you how you can do this using your phone. And if you want to use my exact scripts, I'm going to go over concepts here. If you want a script to reference, this will be included in my upcoming uh, Roofing Sales Accelerator Marketing Pack, the expansion pack, which if anyone has purchased to date, will be included for free when it's released. It's going to be coming out mid-winter. And for anyone that sees this after that time when it's released, it will be embedded in the new material that is available for you. So let's go over some fundamentals. First, we want to start a conversation and have a very short opener. We can use things like referencing the neighbors. Hey, my name's Adam, I'm calling as I just left, um, I think is your neighbor's house, a few doors up the road or a few doors to the west named Jill, named Jan, Susie, whatever it is. And I wanted to call because I think I might be able to help you the same way I helped them. I'm not saying I'm a roofer, you notice that. I didn't say, hey, I'm calling about your roof. I'm saying, hey, I'm calling because I was just up the street visiting with your neighbor, Michael, and I'm calling because I might be able to help you the same way I helped Michael. Now, helping means maybe you did an inspection, you helped them identify if there was damage. Maybe you were up on the roof, maybe you talked with them, maybe you were already working with them. So if you can reference something specific to who they are and the neighborhood, now you can say, hey, is this the owner? Yeah, oh, great, and I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Um, Susie, great, Susie, my name's Adam, the roof strategist, and then boom, now we slide into the same pitch that we use at the door. I'm helping homeowners in your neighborhood get their roof approved fully, specifically for folks that had the insurance company come out after that hailstorm, and they didn't get the outcome that they wanted. May I ask, how has the insurance claim been for you? Now we're in a conversation. I'm going to know, yes, it was denied, no, or they'll say, you know what, it was already approved. Great, doesn't matter what the outcome is, now we're having a conversation. All right, so start a conversation simply and easily. Reference something in the neighborhood, drop names, don't mention the roofing bit, slide into an open-ended question to facilitate a dialogue, and then say, the best way for me to help you would be to come hop up on your roof, review the insurance paperwork, or sit down and educate you on the options. It's a no obligation appointment. When is the best time for me to come over to your house? Write that down. When is the best time? Not when works for you or is it okay. When is the best time? Now we're channeling them instead of a yes or no, do you want me to come by? They're thinking in their own minds, when's the best time? Okay, Tuesdays I get home, four o'clock, perfect. So when you use that approach, when is the best time? We let them offer up the time. Some people will say, oh, well, you got to prize yourself as a sales guy to make yourself look busy by giving them two options and you funnel them in. Now, guys, that, that, that's a technique that will work, okay? It's not my style because we're in the service business. If I can show up at someone's house or I'm soliciting them and I say, when is the best time for you? And I know that their prospective lead that I'm going to close with a 70% close rate, I will happily adjust my schedule. And if they name a time and you are a really busy salesperson and it doesn't work, say, ah, shoot, looks like I'm scheduled at that time. How about, and then you can name something else, but at least you're giving them the impression that you care and you're willing to work around their schedule. All right, here's our closing tips. First and foremost, I want you to write down the phone number of every for sale sign, of every for rent sign, of every church, of every business, any roof that your company can do, any shingled roof. Maybe if you guys do flat roofing, call those two. And I want you to make it a practice that every day when you're in the car driving around, when you're in the office on a rain day, you will work those phones using these methods. Now, if you want to use my scripts, you can click below and access the Roofing Sales Accelerator Marketing Pack. That website that you're going to be directed to will show you everything that's included in the pack. If you don't see the, the call script there yet, that's okay. It will be included and you'll get it for free later. Uh, if it is there now, great. That means I've rolled it out after this video was filmed and you can start using those instantly. You click download, they'll come to your email. It'll prompt you to reply to me, tell me your biggest struggle. I respond personally, by the way, within 24 business hours. I'm gonna give you advice, I'm gonna help you make more sales, and I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what videos you want me to make next, what information is going to help you make the money that brought you into this industry in the first place. Thank you for joining us. Click like, subscribe, comment below. We'll see you guys on the next one.